All right, the latest coming in from the BCCI. The Supreme Court has nominated Amitabh Chaudhary and Rahul Johri to attend the ICC meeting of April 24. No green signal for N. Srinivasan to attend the ICC meet. Well, that's the latest that is coming in from the BCCI. Srinivasan will not represent BCCI at the ICC meet. Clearly a massive uh, Supreme Court jolt to N. Srinivasan there. The latest that in fact is coming in is that uh, Amitabh Chaudhary and Rahul Johri have been nominated by the Supreme Court to attend the ICC meet which is scheduled for the 24th of April. Till now, there's been no green signal for N. Srinivasan to attend the ICC meeting. Uh, clearly, the Supreme Court uh, uh, dealing a huge blow to N. Srinivasan. And tracking these details is my colleague Anusha on the phone line with us. Anusha, would you give us the very latest that's coming in? So, Preeti, as you spelled out, Amitabh Chaudhary and Rahul Chaudhary are the names that have been nominated by the Supreme Court. Uh, clearly, one of the major reasons uh, given by the Supreme Court was that since this meeting is happening at the end of April, there was no time to reach a consensus and they wanted names which were acceptable to both sides. As far as the name of N. Srinivasan is concerned, the Supreme Court said that there are already disqualification norms in place, though they have been challenged by BCCI. But they are already in place and there is a Supreme Court order to that effect. And uh, N. Shrivas, uh, Srinivasan's name has also been under a lot of scanner and controversy. So, orally observations, uh, that's what they indicated that these were the prime reasons Srinivasan could not be sent. These two names, they are acting off of their bearers in this chair right now and hence have been nominated to the crucial ICC meeting. What's expected now, Anusha? Well, uh, this was uh, primarily for the ICC meeting. Yes. This was, uh, you know, a small issue that was adjudicated. We must remember that the uh, Attorney General representing Railways and Armed Forces have uh, has questioned the entire locus of the order which appointed the Lodha panel and asked uh, the State Cricket Association to, in fact, put the panel recommendation. So that larger debate continues. That matter will come up for hearing in July and we'll have to see if BCCI with the help of the Attorney General right. can get any sort of... All right, appreciate you joining us, Anusha. Let's get some perspective. Uh, Shobit Mittal, my colleague, also joins us right now. Shobit, clearly Supreme Court, a huge blow coming in from the Supreme Court where N. Srinivasan is concerned. Uh, can you give us details on the nominations of Amit Chaudhary and Rahul Johari? Well, absolutely. Uh, Amitabh Chaudhary, the Joint Secretary and CEO Rahul Johari have been nominated by uh, the Supreme Court uh, to represent the BCCI in the ICC meeting, which is going to be held later this month. Now, there was an uh, issue regarding N. Srinivasan. He came to Delhi, remember, just a few days back and attended the BCCI SGM, which was then postponed to seek clarity on whether Srinivasan can actually be uh, nominated by BCCI. Now, sources had told India today that certain members of the board were still interested in nominating uh, N. Srinivasan as India's representative in the ICC. Now remember, Srinivasan stands disqualified as per the Lodha Committee recommendations, which has barred any office bearer to hold an office uh, who uh, exceeds the age of 70. Now, due to that uh, restriction, and Mr. N. Srinivasan, former BCCI and ICC president, stands disqualified. He can't hold any uh, position in the BCCI. Hence, the Supreme Court has said that any disqualified official uh, cannot be nominated and uh, those uh, names that were agreeable were that right. of the Joint Secretary Chaudhary and the CEO Rahul Jauhri. Appreciate you joining us, Shobhat. We'll come back to you for more. Thank you, Anusha, there as well.